From the beginning of time, games were created to motivate us to do things. Sport games were originally created to get people to take action and keep fit. Board games like chess were originally created to educate soldiers on military strategy. Ancient games like Knuckles were used to keep people's minds occupied during a famine. Games and game-like elements have been used to educate, entertain and engage. Some classic game elements are things like points, badges and leaderboards. These are just to name a few, but there's actually a lot more to these seemingly simple elements than what most people think. World-leading gamification expert and long-time acquaintance Yu Kai Chow believes that true gamification is when we tap into our core human drives. He believes these core drives are the key to bringing fun and engagement into almost any task. These eight universal core drives are meaning, the desire to feel that our actions have purpose, accomplishment, the drive to achieve and overcome challenges, empowerment, the desire to choose one's own direction and try a variety of solutions to a problem, ownership, the desire to own things and have possession, social influence, the drive to interact with, help, learn from and compete with others, scarcity, the drive of wanting things you can't have, unpredictability, the drive of wanting to know what will happen next and avoidance, the drive to avoid pain or negative consequences. It can seem like a lot of information, so to make things more simple at Gamify, we use the acronym MINNESOTA. The history and effectiveness of elements like points, badges and leaderboards, according to Yu Kai Chow, longtime friend, is in their ability to use these core drives. For instance, point systems make us feel like we have meaning, purpose and gives us a sense of progression. Badges tap into the need for accomplishment and leaderboards appeal to our need for social status and influence. The more we understand the psychology of our core drives, the better we will be at creating games and campaigns that meet our core needs and in turn are proven to become more fun, engaging and have a higher likelihood of being shared. So what should you do now? Take a look at our next video to learn more about the eight pillars of a successful marketing campaign and how you can apply them when planning your promotional strategy for your next game launch.